last nine. Wayne, if a team beat me that first time through, I, I didn't forget it coming back, come play that next game. Good back cut by Pat Baldwin in the right-hand jam. Excellent look. Hey, is Milwaukee wants to keep that ball moving and keep bodies moving through this zone matchup. Now Baldwin over Vincent, and he splashes the net for three. With the 8-0 run I mentioned, and it's a three-point ball game. Milwaukee ball, Milwaukee in the white home uniforms. Baldwin clears for three, left it short. Vincent the rebound, and here come the Norse. Middle of the Baldwin. Now Baldwin picked up by Vincent, two of the top freshmen in the league. Tough shot there, comes up short. Brandon the rebound. Ball in the middle, get open, looks, kicked out, and finishes down low. Pat Baldwin off the baseline. Good looking shot, and it caught the rim. His third from the field. Milwaukee back the other way, trailing by eight. Baldwin quickly elevates for three. Thought he had it. Tip is good by Thomas. Great energy play by. Pat Baldwin to Lathan. Right back to Baldwin. Deep three, top of the key. And the rebound taken down low. Baldwin on the block. They brought a double team. Lathan back to Baldwin. Elevates for three. Man, it just won't go for him tonight. That's a great. Newby out front. PBJ, foul line jumper over Robinson. Heel to the rim, tip by Bowl. As you approach March here in the HL. They just beat Oakland two weeks ago. Here's Lathan against Hodge. Over to Baldwin. Three-pointer from the left wing. In and out. Rebound tipped out near mid-floor. It's going to be tracked down by Lathan. He wants the timeline guarded by Hill. Uses a bowl screen and comes to the left wing. Continue to penetrate. Now kick it out to Baldwin. Left wing. Triple try. High arcing shot. In and out. Rebound Johnson. Whistle. Foul. On the floor. Referee caught it. So Gomillion will check out. Parker right back in for Cleveland State. Baseline inbound comes corner right. Baldwin, tough three-pointer. It's the back iron, no good. Patton has the Cleveland State rebound. He'll come ahead. Hardwood backs it up, sends it to Baldwin. Right wing about 30 away versus Hill. will drive down the lane. Going to force up an off-balance shot. No. Parker the rebound for Cleveland State. He'll come ahead. The Vikings ahead by a half dozen. Four to go in the first half. Tandem 2-3 zone. Here's Baldwin mid-post right. In the lane he goes. Going to lean up with the left hand. Missed the little shot from about two feet. Rebound Cleveland State. Patton, the front court stripped. Thomas takes it from me. And shot from five feet. Back iron and off. Tipped by Baldwin. No. Got it again. Put it up. Blocked partially by Hodge. Then he got the rebound. Spins away from a defender. Three on two. Front court to Hill. Now what? As he shot the three, no good. With 28 footer from the right wing. Almost got it. Thomas the rebound. We'll get it at Baldwin. Right wing, front court. His jumper for three. Front of the iron off. Johnson the rebound. And then Sims got him from behind on the arm. Nearest to him. Out top to Baldwin. Right back to Thomas. Go over on the left side to Golston. Bounce it into Baldwin. Turn around. Shot 15. Good from the left wing. Patrick Baldwin has his first field goal today. He's got three points. By the Fort Wayne Maddens, the NBA G League affiliate of the Pacers. Who knows? They could be a team that'll be eyeing Baldwin in the first round. There's his first shot attempt. No good. With the assignment at six foot four. Baldwin, rise and fire. And a long rebound for Godfrey. Next whistle will bring a part of the season with a sprained ankle, but healthy now. Yeah, you can tell it starts with him. He, he's doing a really done a really nice job this last month to be able to, to step up. And even Pipkin said in their last interview. The right. But now has managed to lead. Baldwin, step back, fadeaway three, doesn't go. And the rebound muscled down by Raw Petty. Wait it on the perimeter. Golston gets it off in time. It doesn't go. And the follow-up for Patrick Baldwin Jr. Baldwin after the Pipkins miss. Baldwin. Still trying to find his rich threes. And that's one thing the coaching staff is going to be upset about, that they left him open like that. Turnover. Patrick Baldwin Jr. throws it down. And a steal. Patrick Baldwin Jr. in and out. 
Got a really nice look. Remember, Baldwin had been out with an ankle injury. Long on the mid-range jumper. Saw Damian. Pipkins on Baldwin. Shot clock down at the largest lead for either side tonight. Patrick Baldwin Jr. projected first round pick in the NBA draft going to work. Really crucial. Missed the last eight games. They're going right to him again. Right into that post. The Once turnaround. he starts feeling it, watch out. His dad says that he's naturally unselfish. They're Baldwin with 10 points, four rebounds, an assist, two steals tonight. Baldwin for three. His first triple tonight. Baldwin can be a prolific shooter. He was six for six from behind the arc earlier this season against Robert Morris. It's Baldwin in the corner. Short rebound, Chonqui. Difference between the shot and game clock. Pipkins harassing Baldwin. Nothing easy, really, for Patrick Baldwin Jr. to Almost turned it over, but St. Pierre got a kick out to Baldwin Jr. That shot's way wide of the mark. Catches nothing, and Kamari McGee grabs the rebound. Is there a breeze in here? That one was way off. It must rebound comes off to Milwaukee once again. And when they get it in the lane, they're forcing it. Pat Baldwin Jr. takes it right at Japana Kellogg, finishes at the hoop, and he'll go to the line to shoot for Milwaukee. Turnover. Golston a steal. Back comes Newby to the elbow. Gives it up to Baldwin from the top. Rises for three. Rolls it off. 10 to 4. Rhode Island the lead. 9 26. Rhode Island by 13. Baldwin screens St. Pierre. Deep three for Patrick is short. And the rebound is taken down by Ishmael Leggett. Game. He's out there with those three. Left of the lane. Baldwin. Hook, no. Pass out, Newby. Right of the top, Thomas. 12 on the shot clock, Baldwin. Right sideline deep against Malai, uh, Makai Mitchell. Step back three for Baldwin. Honeycomb's out, St. Pierre rebound, put back. Mitchell, low lob. That might have been a shot, I think. I'm not sure. Here's Baldwin, transition three, no good. Long carom rebound to the top, ripped away by Antoine Hines. 16 point lead. His season high is 21, so he's two off of that. His career high is 25. Baldwin, no, from the left side, about 17, 18 feet away. At Oklahoma State, they had him a uh, one point game at halftime. Baldwin rises for three, hits from the left wing. The first field goal for Patrick tonight, and it's 76 56 the score. Baker, Lathan, right side Baldwin, jab step, three is an air ball. Golston fighting, able to save it from going over the end line. Reattacks. Colorado, they're man to man as they normally play. Well, taking the first shot of the game and missing a three pointer is Baldwin Jr. Lathan has a. Has a tendency to use that front elbow and arm to push off. Good gracious. Boy, that's, uh, <laughs> that's impossible to cover at almost 6'10". Baldwin with his first. Rebounding. Making a tough play when it needed to be made. Shot clock down to three. Baldwin's got to force one up. And that'll be a violation. So good defense for Colorado. Would you like to see Baldwin with that 6'10 frame post up a little bit? Post up. I... You can't live beyond the arc. Baldwin against Clifford. Shot clock oh, at you five. Can't back off of him. And Baker and Bull came together. Tough. Yeah, think about it. You have two boys. I have three boys. You know, it's one thing coaching them as they're growing up. Here's Baldwin. And which way? How you doing the community? Tremendous honor to be nominated. Well, I think that's such a brilliant award as well. Baldwin splashes one yeah. from deep. And just like that, Milwaukee, because they kind of call against Elijah Parquet, but it was the right call. 51-50, Colorado. Less than five and a half to play. 
Here's Baldwin, drives, and he had it blocked. He got it back, and that'll count. Just the third field goal for Baldwin. The guys that they want out there, they haven't had them together on the floor very much this season. This is over Walker, and it's an air ball. Great defense by Jabari Walker. Milwaukee. Baldwin sees the clock down to five. He drives and unable to finish. And it's Walker the rebound. I, I Walker down. He's a good shooter who hasn't shot it well so far this year from distance. But he just hit a big three. Baldwin. And that's an air ball. And it's been a forget it. Two tough ones for them, but they've been able to find a way to finish games. Times it not, good things are going to happen. Lathan, and now Baldwin Jr. connects from deep. Yeah, and a very, very welcome sign, not only for Patrick. Now eight seconds for Milwaukee to work. Newby the kick out, Baldwin the one-handed shot, no good. And St. Pierre has to go off him out of bounds. That's if you're Milwaukee, you say there's nothing we can do about that. That's just a, that's a horse type shot. <laughs> right, St. Hey. came to help. <laughs> yeah. And now Baldwin, the floater in the lane goes down. And that's the guy that I think has... Now Baker Jr. thought about a three himself, but stops and hands to Baldwin. Free throw line, jumper in. And there it is again, going right back to him. He's just, he's such a mismatch problem. He can make that shot. Transferred in from UTEP. Baldwin for three. You know, he's got one of those jumps. We're getting rebound to Baldwin. Yeah, Milwaukee doing a better job these last couple of possessions of picking it up on the defensive end of the floor. Baldwin again for three. Heat check. Patrick Baldwin Jr. now with 13. That's an 8-0 run for Milwaukee trying to add to it here. Right back to him. He's open. He can't miss. Time out. Patrick Baldwin. There's Lathan. Baldwin's open again. This guy's unbelievable. This is... Absolutely. It's in the game so far. He's the leading scorer, rebounder, and shot blocker for RMU so far this season. His team had a halftime lead with him scoring just two points in the first half. And it now brings it back out. Baldwin finally misses a jumper. I guess the law of average has to take over at some point, right? You can't back in front by two. Only the third game of the year for Chase Cook has played a grand total before today of three minutes. Has not attempted a three on the year. So we Patrick Baldwin Jr. This Baldwin in the corner. High arcing shot, no good. Out of bounds, it'll stay with the Panthers. 20 to. Baldwin, good for the elbow. You know, every once in a while. In that second half, what was a sloppy first half against the Seminoles? Here's Baldwin, presumed lottery pick. Had his, had his pick of the litter. Baldwin with eight. Backs in on the smaller Appleby, the touch. For Patrick Baldwin Jr., five-star recruit. Some injuries for Milwaukee. Two starters that are injured as Baldwin well off the mark. He'll hear it from the Rowdies. Jordan Lathan and Tafari had to run to the bathroom to, to essentially vomit and come back in the game and finish it out. He had five assists, was able to contribute. Everybody seems to be battling from that. Charges up the Rowdies. Baldwin just can't seem to get it going. What really helps the Paul, he's most effective down in the paint, but Coach White has done a fantastic job with the backdoor cuts and the screens, getting him the ball to his spots. And he just adapted and stepped up because that's what players do. They adapt to the system. They bring sure Castleton wants to showcase some things in terms of extending his range and what he can do offensively. As Baldwin got denied by Castleton, another swap here on the new year. Uh, McKissick, Felder, 
Fleming, uh, all these guys that are that are here now. Even the only returner that is not out of that is not a freshman, nor a transfer is Jason Jatobo. And all are competitive. They enjoy COVID year of being apart from your teammates, not having a locker room. Will really put a perspective of gratitude and help you just enjoy being present with your teammates. Every single opportunity you get for those guys. Appleby snaking had it taken away by Baldwin behind the back. Right at the horn, the five-star prospect getting it done. Defense, number 23 in black, right on cue. Watched by Teruji. Baldwin, the quick first step. I expect they're going to feed him. Florida State. Baldwin. Won't see that often. Who was guarding him? A lot of lobs to the rim tonight. 13 assists on 23 made field goals. Is it fair for me to say I have a little bit of FOMO? Because I did not get past that many lobs when I played <laughs> in all four. Baldwin. It's been that kind of night. We will step aside. Or off to a solid start. Newby's dipping inside. There's Baldwin. Two-handed dunk. Baldwin high on the left side. Baldwin working against Blanton. Between the legs, five on the shot clock. Baldwin rises for three, buries it from the left wing. And there you have it, Patrick Baldwin against Cooper Robb. Tightly guarded out near the logo. St. Pierre gives him a high screen. Between the legs dribble for PBJ at the elbow. He'll pop from there and he'll sink the shot. And Patrick's got the first five. Missed by Bollockwin. And it's rebounded by the Panthers. Milwaukee was out rebounded by North Dakota on Tuesday, albeit in victory. Baldwin, turnaround jumper is short. And it's a one and done for the near back on the floor. Newby, Baldwin, Thomas, Baker, Golston. No on the Baldwin three. Yes on the pin. Baldwin, one on one, got past Rob in the paint. The floater won't go. And it's pulled down by Williams. I don't know if Patrick was anticipating contact or what. That's here. Sanani high on the right. Lob to Baldwin. Baldwin on Beverly. Draws a double. Fades from the baseline. That's an air ball. And it comes weak side to Rob. They can for Thomas. Ten on the shot clock for Thomas. High screen. JT drive kick. Corner. Sanani for Baldwin's three. Off the mark. Back tap. Didn't draw iron. Two to shoot. Sanani. Art 430 for the pregame show. Baldwin back on the floor. See if Patrick can catch fire here for his team. Step back. Deep three. No good. Rebound St. Pierre. Kick it to Baldwin. 15-15 left. Browning, pass ahead to Baldwin Jr. Patrick glides with a Euro step to score in from the left. 60 33 37. Golston back, misses the dunk. It ricochets out to the top. Browning to Baldwin, short on the three. Baker tried to keep it alive, couldn't do it. With the right hand in from the left, put it in the right hand and scored. 63 39. Leaner won't go. Patrick Baldwin's got it. Scored and won. Away by PBJ. Panthers push. Browning. Baldwin for three. No. Back tap. Eastern Kentucky's got it. Right side. Baldwin against Beverly. Patrick takes him off the dribble. In the lane. Hang shoots. Can't get it to go, but he's able to tip in his own miss. Baldwin with 14. Ties Golston for the team lead. 66-48. A lot of time left. 11 deep on the right. Patrick, a couple of jab steps between the legs. Looks to attack. Step back three. Got it. 66-51. Jerseys, the black and gold lettering numerals and trim. 16 to shoot. Newbie, jump pass out for Baldwin. Patrick for three. No good. Good look for the freshman from the left wing. That, would have that tells you the type of talent that he has here for the Colonels. Lob in. Baldwin the catch. Turns. Drives. Scores with the right hand. Makes it look easy. Anton's 12.
Lob in Baldwin. Left of the lane. Posting Lewis. Shoots over Lewis. No good from eight feet out. Tap to the corner. Thomas has got it. JT baseline. Yes. Brings it to the near side. Front court. Screen Thomas. Baldwin contested deep three. No. That would have made it a five-point game. He can hit him from pick in the NBA. Here's a long three on the way. No good by Nero. Loose change collected by PBJ, they call him. Now he'll fire up a 25-footer. That one too strong. Here comes Baldwin. Off balance. No. North Dakota doing a good job not letting him this time by Dr. Sucker. Sure, we'll call him that. Cleared away by Milwaukee, who leads by seven. Just one early lead here for UND. Baldwin going to fire from three and fill it. Someone that the uh, UND staff is quite pleased with here in the early going. Rushes out in defense of that Baldwin three. Baldwin now will take the point here for Milwaukee. Trying to get past Sucre's little floater. Too strong. Got his own rebound and gets fouled on the putback. 11-point game here for Milwaukee. And the collegiate debut of Patrick Baldwin Jr., his 17-footer off the well, I'd say it's been a good start for UND defensively, especially keeping Baldwin Jr. just one field goal here in the opening 18 minutes. And as I say that, he'll fire from three and miss. Go right in the grill of Baldwin Jr., not letting him get comfortable with the basketball. Six seconds now. Baldwin makes his move, gets to the rim, and finishes with ease. Oh, he made that look easy. So they didn't change possession arrow, which tells me that uh, they did not call that a jump ball. And just a turnover here for North Dakota as Baldwin Jr. Fit. Ball on the floor with purpose right into the heart of the lane and staying under control. Norman coming in with a lot of hype as well. Coming in from Snow College, a very successful junior college program. And obviously, North Dakota, an opportunity here to uh, in no way, shape, or form, like kind of steal the game here. I haven't played well offensively and still right in the thick of this one. Baldwin Jr. on the floater. That's good. And that's Another quiet crowd here tonight. UND hasn't gone on a lengthy run, but I have the feeling that many crowds ready to go once UND puts things together. Yeah, we saw them come alive towards the end of that first half, but there's just been so many sessions in the second half by UND. Just too much dribbling, not enough passing. Almost no ball reversals. They're not getting the defense moving. The defense is just set. It's very difficult to score against the set defense. Baldwin will try along. Showed North Dakota their seventh in the preseason poll in the Summit League. Ninth for Milwaukee in the Horizon League as Baldwin finishes. the rebound the corner Baldwin great shooter doesn't get the drop miles over to Baldwin and just a little long and quickly into transition goes Canada Here he is, Lofton, and shoots over. Great effort by Baldwin with the offensive rebound and putback. Good. Well, Miles had decent position there. Again, decides to bring it back out this time. And Baldwin, there. That's what we thought, and he drills the three. In this phase of play. Baldwin again. Often another rebound. I mean, he's a work. 
And look at that, Nimhard can't call it, and Chandler goes in. Oh! And hopefully he's okay as Baldwin followed him. Chandler came down awkward. He tried to pass back to Chandler. but led so too much, so it was out of bounds. What can to get that experience? Here you see, did a nice job. They remember, remember, our people also put a lot of time and energy into helping the development in Africa as well. Um, here is Paul Brunner getting the rebound. And the passing back.
Got a post up working now against Nelson. Kick out Lathan. Back to Baldwin. Golston mid range off the baseline. Nicely done. Good ball movement that time. And Golston has his. Somewhat. <laughs> Baldwin has it on the right wing. He's driving on a pin to it. He'll stop. He'll lean. Kick it out to Newby. Open look. Straight away triple in the air. Swish. Newby's had a couple of open looks at threes and he has knocked him down. He's got set with more than one. Which is worth monitoring because John Kaufman is not one to play a guy in the first half with multiple fouls. Long two. From it's off the side of the rim, no good, and the rebound comes off to Pat Baldwin Jr. It's already their 14th three attempt in this half. Well, and that's going to irritate Coach Ryan in transition. One pass down to Tafari Sims. This pocket, Shepard back the other way, and now his pass deflected and stolen by Baldwin. This is a four-on-one. PBJ, no look for newbie. Low on the right, layup is good. It's Mikhail Mitchell. He lost the ball. Baldwin took it away. Four-court newbie. Spot up three is good. Catch and fire, and another jumper knocked down by Jordan Lathan. He's across to Newby. Baldwin catches it at the elbow, finds Lathan for three, it's good. And again, just cannot emphasize it enough, the soft game. <laughs> yeah. Truly, it's been a really good game. Two-point lead for the Panthers. And now Newby hoists a three and cans it. Tells Rasheem Dunn. And we get to the four minute mark of regulation. Three from the corner. Thomas knocks it down. Meanwhile, freshman Elijah Kennedy is checked in. Newby lets it fly. Four to 24. 4.45 of the clock rolls here in the first half. Baldwin's got it. Jump pass to the corner. Sanani for three. Ring it up. Sanani joined in chat with AD Amanda Braun about homecoming, the Hall of Fame, all kinds of good things here on campus. Baldwin drives. No look to Kane, and the seven-footer will throw it down by Williams. And he couldn't finish. Baldwin back. Thomas low on the right. Layup is good. 69-50, he throw no good, missed by Rob. 14 seconds left, seven point game. Baldwin, Golston driving, scoring, five point game, 9.3 left. Pat Baldwin will take his final time. And the ball just sticking a little bit too much on offense that time, a little bit too much dribbling. Uni definitely wants to move the ball to pass. Jump pass, Baldwin, open look from the left wing, good. Back to back triples. <laughs> Davis steps inside the arc. Here he is again and makes the shot. Kind of so active. And there's Hawk Barner. Good work um, from Baldwin. Getting him the basketball.
Williams inbounds coming. Parker gets the cutter. Gomillion left block. Got a fade from 12 on the jumper with one to shoot off the rim. And Baldwin has the rebound for Milwaukee. He'll trot it ahead. For the front. Drives in. One-handed shot from five feet. Back iron and off. Tipped by Baldwin. No. Got it again. Put it up. Blocked partially by Hodge. Then he got the rebound. Spins away from a defender. Three on two. Front court to Hill. Now what is he shot? Take about an hour, hour and a half ride up to the islands and yeah. see the Perry Monument. And you're forever in Annapolis Island. at the it's Naval fantastic. Academy. There's a big plaque yep. right outside the cathedral there on, on the Naval Academy campus. So that's your history lesson for today. Back to basketball sure. as Milwaukee has it. They trail by 15. Lathan we get it over on the right side. It's Tafari Sims who drives in, missed the layup though. And the rebound's collected by Gomillions. Thomas was prolific in the first half scoring. Second one in and out. Patrick Baldwin Jr., the rebound. He'll hand the ball off to Lathan. He'll come ahead left to right. 18-point lead for Cleveland. with seven. A million to the left elbow, left of the lane, four to shoot, turns, pumps, out to Hodge, three-pointer with two on the shot clock, hit the rim, no good, rebound battle, won by Baldwin, ball against Gomillion now, we'll try to get it out of there. Godfrey thought about the three, into the paint, kicks out, Jalen Pipkins, doesn't drop, and the ball bounces to Patrick Baldwin Jr. at six foot nine, 220 pounds, weight it on the perimeter. Golston gets it off in time. It doesn't go. And the follow up for Patrick Baldwin Jr. For the freshman star. Another rebound for Baldwin after the Pipkins miss. Baldwin, east line left it short. Jalen Pipkins up ahead for Deontay Phillips. Godfrey. At that time, and a rebound for Baldwin. Log spin move, left hand hook comes up short. St. Pierre playing the defense on him. Rebound comes off to PBJ. He's guarded by Claflin again. PBJ into the paint. Oh, kicks it over to Stever. They work the perimeter around to Anson. They're daring him to shoot that three, so he does. Pulls up. That's off the side of the rim, no good. And the rebound comes off to Pat Baldwin Jr. It's already their 14th. So. Now Ansong looking to do what he does, goes underneath, throws up the shot that's no good, and Pat Baldwin Jr. comes out with a rebound for Milwaukee. Baldwin Jr., cross-court pass. Go that at all, everything's out on the perimeter. Now Japan and Kellogg, his left hand hook in the lane. That one's no good. Rebound comes off to Milwaukee once again. And when they get it in the lane, they're forcing it. Pat Baldwin. Rams, and the Panthers almost made him pay with a three from Baldwin, but he missed. There's a long two that's missed by Mikhail Mitchell along the right side, and Baldwin clears for the Panthers. Remember, Patrick is their jab steps. Swing off to Malik Mitchell. Make it front, Mikhail Mitchell. Now to the right corner, Leggett's three. That comes off to Baldwin. Patrick, four court, slings it to Golston. Dre on a step. State, the only other Horizon League men's team in action tonight. Free throw missed by Leggett. 68-49, he was one of two at the strike. Cleveland State at open. Usually saved for juniors and seniors. Jabari Walker, no whistle. He's still down on the deck. See if uh, Milwaukee can take advantage. That's knocked out of bounds, a hard drive. Jabari Walker missed on that layup attempt. He's 0 for 5 semester in high school. And uh, his dad said, you know, even though he looks to be his daddy, he looks to be a one and done. The, he will. De Silva lets go. Love ring. And he did everything right with finish. Oh, great. No look pass and bold. Less than five and a half to play. Here's Baldwin drives and he had it blocked. He got it back and that'll count. Just the third field goal for Baldwin. Williams dealing with an ankle injury, so he is not starting today. May not go. Here's Winston, a jumper from the elbow and the rebound to Patrick Baldwin Jr. Donovan Newton. 
Right now, Dunn is causing problems for Milwaukee. Seven points, three of three shooting. Missed there by Baker. Baldwin trying to fight for it, but Winston wins the fight. Bait to shoot. It's Cheeks at the top of the key. Cheeks stops and pops. That one off target. Rebound to Baldwin. Yeah, Milwaukee doing a better job these last couple of possessions of picking it up on the defensive end of the floor. Then all the eyes are going to be on him. The second he makes that decision because of the type of prospect he is as he gets the block. But he said, Dad, if I'm going to be in the NBA, people are going to have their eyes on me all the time. But St. Pierre just unable to finish. And Winston works against Baldwin. And misses the shot right over him. Had a pretty good look, but rolls out. Seven seconds to shoot for the Colonials. Here's Dunn on the run, swatted by Lathan. A great job there by Milwaukee of helping off on the drive. Dunn's had a lot of, but don't just get out of the way, get in the lane. Here's Spear, has a three try, no. Baldwin the rebound. The Baldwin is 7 3. Mario, play to your strengths. Mike White said that. That competition with C.J. Felder has really helped Anthony DeRuji become it on Monday as Fleming thought he got fouled, no whistle. Jordan Lathan turns it over. Fleming all alone. A little pull up. In a game like this, I still like to see Castleton take that shot. Live action now as Braxton Beverly has it high on the left. One on one with Baldwin. Drive and kick back Moreno. Short on the three. Rebound Baldwin. His coach, his dad, wants him to push. Josh Thomas already making a difference. He has six. Here's a three. That won't go from the right side. Baldwin. And a reach in foul after the rebound was collected by Patrick. The eight minute mark of this first half. But a fast moving first half down the lane. Left hand layup missed by. Blanton. Baldwin, one on one, got past Rob in the paint. The Ohio Valley, seven blocks for the 6'10 sophomore forward from London, England. One of two at the free throw line. Eastern Kentucky leading the Panthers 34 to 24. Here's Eastern Kentucky basketball out of the timeout. The inbound, Crookshank, baseline for Rob. Catch and shoot trigger, no on the three. Coach Baldwin wants his offense to run. Patrick's got 10 on the shot clock. Richard Crookshank, left side, Blanton. Beg your pardon, that's Moreno, and he scores with the right hand. In from the left, put it in the right hand and scored 63-39. Leaner won't go. Patrick Baldwin's got it, scored and won. Can't get it to go, but he's able to tip in his own miss. Baldwin with 14. Ties Golston for the team lead. 66-48. A lot of time. Shoot, they got to get a stop here. Braxton Beverly, baseline dart, layup, no! Baldwin's got it. 46 seconds left. Down by eight. Patrick into the front court. It's going to pull the Colonels off the free throw line. Beverly's there by himself, missed the free throw. Panthers ball down by seven, 35 seconds left. Here comes Baldwin. Patrick, Eastern Kentucky, 11 of 16 at the line as a unit tonight. Free throw no good, missed by Rob. 14 seconds left, seven point game. Baldwin, goal senior. Set to be a top 15 draft pick in the NBA. Here's a long three on the way, no good by Nero. Loose change collected by PBJ, they call it. Now he'll fire up a 25-footer. That one too strong. And if you're UND and he settles for those types of shots, you got to think that's going to win. He's probably going to make a couple of those, but you want to keep him out of the paint, and they have to love that. Big Bonner go on the quick low on all these players as we start the 2021-22 season. Here's a drive. That one just off by Nero. Collecting was Matthews, but he couldn't get it to go. Baldwin now will... Take the point here for Milwaukee. Trying to get past Sucre's little floater. Too strong. Got his own rebound and gets fouled on the putback. This opening half, it was all Milwaukee in the first 17 minutes. And 
North Dakota shaved this thing down to six. A little jump hook too strong. Baldwin collects the loose change for Milwaukee, and they'll get the chance. Of the we'll see if the North Rim here at the Bet Engelstead Sioux Center fares any better here for North Dakota. Quick look by Igbanago. That one trickles out. But that is something to watch. That pop on the screen. On the but they're doing a great job of keeping the Panthers off the board in that fashion. Sukers layup misses short. And I like Mitchell Sucre doing that at Dakota. Shot clock winding down. Igbonigo three. That one no good. And the ball just sticking a little bit too much on offense that time. A little bit too much dribbling. Uni definitely. But he misses it. And T with the rebound for North Dakota. Dakota. As we approach the 10 minute mark. Another triple try here by Norman who had two in that first half. Advantage right back to 11. Seven minutes left here in this second half of play oh nice little play there by nero but couldn't finish leaving vin baker jr in the, in the middle really pillin trying that jump in that penetrating that zone there we go baldwin yeah. has it in the middle of the foul line doubled down by langdon he bats it away langdon on the drive to the rim blocked by golston saved and they match up in this zone and now brandon PBJ takes him off the dribble. Tried to hit Golston. It was open. Intercepted by Warwick. He drives the right side of the lane. and 28-point lead for Northern Kentucky. Pat Baldwin. Threw it away. Uh, trying to get it to somebody, either Bowl or Thomas, inside. Three for Robinson. They beat the pressure with the pass. Pass intercepted from Baldwin by Robinson. That time Sputter got caught with a moving screen on that action. 2 0 Vikings, 17 10, first half. Baldwin in the front court, right wing, double teamed. Gets the pass away, intercepted Parker. Parker runs ahead, it's three on. And uh, some more news and notes for you on the Horizon League there on your screen. It's uh, a lot of NCAA tournament appearances for this mid major conference going back the last 12 years. Cleveland State, of course. Big Ra. Baldwin with an interception. Godfrey wins it back. Three on two. Phillips in the corner. That was his fourth assist. St. Pierre couldn't handle it. Attempts tonight where he's got to the basket, but he is double pumped and Put up some crazy shots. That was much better. Now Kamari McGee intercepts the pass for Pat Baldwin Jr. down the lane. Layup good for Kamari McGee, and we are. There's with it to my right as I see it. Here's Lathan at the top for St. Pierre. Couple of dribbles, hand off to Baldwin. Patrick's first touch of the day, got his pocket pick. Stripped and stolen by Leggett. Back goes Ishmael Leggett, and. It, it, it was a coaching move from, from a veteran player to a puppy, right? To so keep your head up, you'll be okay. That you sort of thing. Yeah, you can't. Simpson. And a steal by Walker. And he'll flush it and was fouled. Causing problems for Milwaukee. Seven points, three of three shooting. Missed there by Baker. Baldwin trying to fight for it, but Winston wins the fight. That energy. Take another look. Eleven zero Gator run, couple of dunks for number twelve. Tarushi coming out of nowhere. Up to thirty three as Baldwin throws it away. This one getting out of hand. 94 feet of pressure. Baldwin at center court. Swarm gives it up to the scorer's table. He was looking for Vin Baker Jr. along the near sideline. So the Panthers have it at single digits here. 38-29 with under two to play in the half. Shooting 43%. And Baldwin's pass deflected. Turned over. Back. Rebound is a tough thing. You know, it's physical and you have to go after it. And he did a good job of sneaking in there and getting good position. North Dakota can get some makes here. Sneak back into this one. They've done a good job defensively. 
you know, UND shooting 18% from the field, but it's not that you want to change a whole lot. It's just more about focus and finishing, finishing, really. Yeah, they've got the looks they wanted. This action, they got a switch on Baldwin. Ikbonigo is guarding Baldwin. Milwaukee didn't find him, and they took a contested two. Danielson now draws the tough assignment as Baldwin getting... <laughs> point is though as they try and come down the floor that you know, people putting people in to help coach him. I mean like Nelson Isaac's here at the event. <laughs> Both ends of the floor. Baldwin also back in. Baldwin has a couple fouls. Um, then the pass and good block by Baldwin. And Owusu Anane stays after it. A series of donuts across the, the step line. Nimhard falls down and it goes. And Prosper blocked from behind by Baldwin. It's just another tough, tough shot. the quick put back for St. Pierre. De Silva and he had a black from block from behind by Emmons. Freshman. And as Walker drove, there was contact. Post. He's 6'10, he's, he's the biggest target. He's the most skilled player in there. He can make a jump shot. He's a great passer, can find people on the perimeter. So I'd look for Pat Baldwin to spend a lot of time today in that line right for Eastern Kentucky. 20 on the shot clock to the corner. Catch and shoot three short. Moreno couldn't cut Thomas with 17. He and Baldwin lead the charge offensively. Right wing open. Moreno three, no good. Offense about 30. Pat, it's a screen from a Jacques who's in there. Pat with eight to shoot, going to work down the lane. He goes, got to the rim, missed the left-handed shot. Majak the rebound, wanted to go back up. Newby took it away, and then a foul on Majak who grabbed it. Incredible stuff. It was so heartwarming to see him out there, and he is obviously dealing with public battle with cancer. We wish him the best. As Patrick Baldwin Jr. sends that one, decided I'm going to play at Milwaukee. That all the eyes are going to be on him the second he makes that decision because of the type of prospect he is as he gets the block, but he said, Dad, if I'm gonna be in the NBA. Gators trying to get it off to a 3-0 start. We'll head to Fort Myers on Monday. As Fleming thought he got fouled, no whistle. Castleton setting up underneath against Joey St. Pierre. Derugy charging through, swatted out by Baldwin. Three to shoot, Fleming, limited space, peace. On the shot clock for Eastern Kentucky. 8.28 on the game clock, lob into the lane. Blanton on Golston, goes up, blocked by PBJ. Right there, though, to clean it up is Moreno, who scores. Bruns puts it on the floor. Panoam now looking for an opportunity. Feeds the post. Howard will go to work. Slapped away by Baldwin. And here's Langdon. Langdon driving on St. Pierre. Brandon able to clear, knock to the floor on the shot, and uh, he will go to the line. Three. Again, the shot clock goes under 10. Godfrey looking for Pipkins, and Baldwin deflects it. Off there, turns a the corner, drives it hard on, on Big Ra. Baldwin with an interception. 
Godfrey wins it back. A halftime deficit. St. Pierre goes to work inside, and from behind, Shepard picked his pocket. Shepard back the other way, and now his pass deflected and stolen by Baldwin. This is a four-on-one. PBJ, no look for Newby. Total rebounds, they're plus nine. Mitchell, low lob. That might have been a shot, I think. I'm not sure. Here. Shove off towards Daruji. Look at the ball movement again, just popping around. Appleby slithers through, lost it. Baldwin scoops it up. That was the thing that Mike White had talked about, that energy. Take another look. PA scout right. uh, wasn't here for those guys. Appleby snaking, had it taken away by Baldwin. Behind the back. Right at the horn, the five-star. 30 left to play, 63-42. Blanton now goes up, deflected away by PBJ. Panthers push. Browning. Patton gets a screen from a Jacques who's in there. Patton with eight to shoot, going to work. Down the lane he goes, got to the rim, missed the left-handed shot. Majak the rebound, wanted to go back. Aye. Purdue, Fort Wayne, and Milwaukee. Final month of the Horizon League season. Pound it, and a bit. the Rams, back to live action. Left of the lane, Mikhail Mitchell, pounding the pavement. Out for Mikhail Mitchell. He'll drive on Sims, his left-hand layup is no good. And that one creates the quick putback for St. Pierre. De Silva, and he had it blocked from, blocked from behind by three years. Just tells you about his leadership uh, characteristics, huh? Uh, it's, it's a strange thing. It doesn't happen. It's usually saved for juniors and seniors. Jabari who made it. Walker did not. Colorado by one. Here's Walker. Drives down the lane, and he kisses it off the court. Milwaukee, that all the eyes are going to be on him. The second he makes that decision because of the type of prospect he is, as he gets the block. Pass, great pass by Baldwin. St. Pierre just unable to finish. Winston works against Baldwin. Miss Make them foul you. Use a little bit more time. Nonetheless, you got to get back on defense and forget about it. Make up for it with a stop. Winston goes in on Baldwin. Gators trying to get it off to a 3-0 start. We'll head to Fort Myers on Monday. As Fleming thought he... Castleton setting up underneath against Joey St. Pierre. Derugy charging through, swatted out by Paul. Lane got fell. Actually, I believe I, I was... Play, 63-42. Blanton now goes up, deflected away. By PB. If you threw the net, I don't know about slam dunk. <laughs> okay. We'll get you a trampoline if you need it. I need it. <laughs> the elbow jumper for Warwick is short. Motion aspect that he, uh, one player can bring on a couple plays. Pipkins shooting over Baldwin. Oh, into the paint a few times, get some bigs. A couple of times has been cut off by St. Pierre. Steber with three on the shot clock. Pulls up. That draws nothing. Towards Daruji. Look at the ball movement again, just popping around. Appleby slithers through, lost it. Baldwin scoops it up. So it is EKU basketball working to my left as I see it. Both teams shooting opposite their own benches in this first half after a crossover here side. Now he retreats. Ten on the shot clock. Into the hands of Brown. High on the left. Panthers drop into a zone. And here's a traveling violation. Wide open shot for Newby. And he cast out. Warwick's been quiet. Langdon. Robinson corner tray. Patton in the corner, eight to shoot. Patton dribbles out to the wing. Patton looking down low, throws it out to Parker, five to shoot. There goes the triple try, back iron and off. In there, in the top 25 in the country in threes per game. Godfrey thought about the three. Into the paint, kicks out. Jalen Pipkins does 10 minutes of this game, how he reacts. And he's got a supporting cast. That was Jordan Lathan with the first two tonight. Skip pass, Godfrey to Pipkins. Transition on stops and turnovers that just happened. Don's only managed two fast break points last time out in the loss at Wright State. Macedon's now with five turnovers to Milwaukee's seven. Billups. Shot clock at five. 
Peterson from the corner. Into the paint a few times to get some bigs. A couple of times has been cut off by St. Pierre. Steber with three on the shot clock. Pulls up. That draws nothing. Shepard, 10 on the shot clock. Shepard from Makai Mitchell at the top. Dribble handoff. Here's a three ball for Malik Martin. For a team pick to finish seventh in the 14-team Atlantic 10. Baseline, three ball in the corner, way off. Malik Martin and air ball. Again, they just makes it look so easy. Bartholomew gives it up. O'Brien, he could shoot the three, and he splashes one from... He ready to shoot it. He was ready for that shot. Knocked it down. Batty gives it up. Walker, a three ball. In the first half, they're four of five in the second half from distance, and Clifford misses everything. And now... That's not a good shot. That is a forced three with the shot clock winding down. I'm going back to Walker. I mean, I, I kick it back to him, allow him to do some work. Straight up three. Post. He's 6'10. He's the biggest target. He's the most skilled player in there. He can make a jump shot. He's a great passer, can find people on the perimeter. So I'd look for Pat Baldwin to spend a lot of time today in that. There's cheeks around a mayor's screen. Winston, a three over Baldwin problems at times this year protecting the rim but against other teams he's going to be a matchup problem no matter who they play against that big second half against florida state and route to a decisive win against the rival snapping a seven game losing streak the kiss open look has led the nation in blocks per game jones the drive by tarushi the launch buries it a bad shot Gators on a breakout. McKissick wide open. You bet. Baldwin throws it away. This one getting out of hand. The freshman. Reeves. Lay up a little bit short. EKU full court press for 40 minutes. Transition three. Cooper Rob and he hits. So it is EKU basketball. Working to my left as I see it. Both teams shooting opposite their own benches in this first half after a crossover. Here's you've got to be able to box out. Here's a lob up court turned over. The pressure worked. Beverly three, no good. Newby able to line right for Eastern Kentucky. 20 on the shot clock to the corner. Catch and shoot three, short. Moreno couldn't cut. Thomas with 17. He and Baldwin lead the charge offensively. Right wing open. Moreno three, no good. Offense. Time to find Newby in the opposite corner. Around both the free throw line. Turns, dribbles, spins in the lane, puts it up from five feet. No, tip Finstoon. Yes! Finstoon exit and finds Patton, who finds Hill. Open left wing, bluffs the three, drives instead, float shot, rim no, fouled. As Yahiel Hill with a good pumps, waits, shoots, scores, won't count. He's called for traveling. So with 3.38 to go, give it back to Milwaukee. That's the Vikings' eighth timeout. That pass is intercepted by Tafar. Damian Chung Kui on the drive, high off the glass. Their whole strategy today, both ends, paint. Keep Green Bay out of it. Milwaukee wants to get into it. Kamari McGee down the lane, count it, and a foul. The three, the tip in by Makai Mitchell, though, falls in. Side. And uh, his dad said, you know, even though he looks to be his batty, he looks to be a one and done. He actually scooped it up with two hands after he lost dribble and then he kept it going. It, it looked funky. There's a tough shot by Bart. Travel there. He got away with a little skip travel there, right, when he took he, off. He, he did initially. Tafari uh, Sims is going to pick up the foul. Tough. It was so heartwarming to see him out there. And he is obviously dealing with public battle with cancer. We wish him the... He is just on fire right now, absolutely unconscious. Milwaukee, it's first lead of the game, and now a turnover by the Colonials. Against Florida State, using that size, got his own miss, and the stick back. Clear out again, Castleton. Oh, the duck in. Oh. Claims he may have been hit. 
no call. Long outlet, bounce pass ahead. Blanton, he goes up, scored and won. Eastern bat at the Juco level, and before that, Illinois. Here's a steal by Cooper Robb. He goes back, he lays it in, and the lead is a... They led it by 15 at the break. Here's a Moreno three that's missed. Offensive rebound, Balaguin inside, and graduate student from South Sudan. Inbound to Balaguin, and he traveled. Oh, nice cut for Eastern Kentucky. 8.28 on the game clock. Lob into the lane. Blanton on Golston. Goes up, blocked by PBJ. Right out near the logo. Six to shoot. And Braxton Beverly, right of the lane. Fades, fires, missed it with the shot clock. Great point. Hodge against Baldwin. We got a whistle and an offensive foul on Johnson for an illegal screen as he was trying to set a pick on Baldwin. Patton gets a screen from Majak, who's in there. Patton with eight to shoot, going to work. Down the lane he goes, got to the rim, missed the left-handed shot. Majak the rebound, wanted to go back. And the shot clock goes under 10. Godfrey looking for Pipkins and Baldwin. So far here, that's the first foul of the night. Eight to nothing. Rhode Island has the early lead. And now the Rhode Island Rams return the favor. Now for Mikhail Mitchell. High on the right. He'll hand to Elamine. Drops it back door for Mikhail Mitchell, who will throw it down. I think he had the lob there again. To Parquet. Parquet didn't yeah. want to throw it. De Silva from the elbow. Nothing but the bottom. The Clifford and Lovering. Not hold on to that Milwaukee that all the eyes are going to be on him the second he makes that decision because of the type of prospect he is as he gets the block how much his teammates enjoy playing with him they yeah. genuinely seem as we've seen a legal screen there just problems at times this year protecting the rim but against other teams he's going to be a matchup problem no matter who they play against knows the flow of being going to class making it to practice on time uh, but there's going to be that healthy balance, and Coach White did a fantastic guy. Lane got fell. Actually, I believe I, I was.